morning, it's Tuesday. I've spent this morning adding to my planner because I haven't done this week's plans. I've kind of fallen off the horse a little bit with my planner. Um, I've been working on a brain dump to-do list, weekly to-do list situation. But that is just how I need to plan at the moment. Um, but I have sat down and tried to figure out like where those jobs need to be done during the week because I really need to plan some things for next week. But I want to make sure I'm not prioritising the wrong things. So yeah, I've been sorting them into the days and hopefully I will stay on track. But as always, I, I keep it in mind that I might have a, a day this week where I just go, no, nope, not happening. So yeah, I do tend to keep Fridays as a odd jobs day slash safety blanket day. So like if in the week there's a day that I just don't get things done because my head is not in it, I have that day to catch up with them and get them done. Or if I do get things done, that can be my rest day. And on rest days, I tend to do like minimal work. I won't have a complete day off as such, like I do at the weekend. Um, I'll just choose jobs that I either enjoy or just don't take too much time or too much mental effort. <laughs> um, I do have post arriving today, which should be my new business cards. I haven't had a business card for my green cow I don't think ever. I decided to get some designed last week and get them sent off to the printers and I also got some thank you paper as well designed which I'm a bit skeptical about because I chose quite a thin paper and I chose printing on both sides of it um, but we'll see how they turn out. They'll either work or they won't. The printers that I used had an offer on and everything so I didn't spend too much money. The first job I'm going to get done today is make some of the die cut packs. I got a couple of packs made last week for taking photos and stuff like that and getting all the images and stuff sorted for the listing. I didn't get loads done because obviously I was focusing on the Patreon stuff so I'm going to get those done because I launched them on the shop yesterday um, and I got some orders which was really really cool so I need to get some packaged up and sent out. If you want to get your hands on either the postcard pack or the die cut pack I'll have links below. Those are the packs that I have shown pretty much the whole process from start to finish on how I designed and made them and I'm really excited to have them up on the shop finally <laughs> so people can buy them and use them. I'm also going to be using them in some of my journals at some point. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, that's the plan for the start of the day. Something that happened last week which was kind of exciting. Like, it's not that exciting, but for me, it was exciting. This is going to sound so lame and so, like, adulting things. I got new shelves for my stock. I mentioned in last week's vlog about needing new shelves because it was all just kind of overflowing and I just there was no space for anything and I think pretty much a couple of days after on a Facebook group someone local posted a shelf that they were giving away and I was like it looks the right size it could fit there it did say it had like adjustable shelves which if you own a shop or a small business you know that adjustable shelves are important that's something you need um so you can jiggle around stock and stuff when you need it. Yeah, I ended up with the help of my dad <laughs> with a car. We went and picked it up and this is now where I store the shop stock. I did post a photo on Instagram when I got it. We weren't sure whether it was gonna fit in here so it wasn't like a, yes, that's definitely gonna be good for my stock. But we knew that there was other places in the house that could use it, if not. But it turns out it fits perfect. It fits behind the sofa without the sofa coming too into the room really well. No one really uses a sofa other than Bonnie who sits here. This now houses all of my art prints, all of my postcards. I'll have space for the die cuts and everything and obviously as I expand and get more things I'll have space for it which is great. <laughs> this little place over here has all of my card stock and things for my printer and then down here I still need to sort a little bit of my boxes and my packaging and stuff and then there's a few bits for my Patreon stuff as well and this shelf down here has things on it that I really need to sort through and put some de-stash packages together so at some point I will do that. <laughs> but yeah I'm very happy with it. It is such a lame thing to get excited about. I know there'll be some people out there who just get it like they understand my excitement i think it is weird that i spoke about it in the last vlog and then here i am now with a shelf that fits everything perfectly i can't use the shelves that are behind the sofa but i've left those shelfless um so i just store bigger things down there like i have some tubes i have some spare shelves i have a jigsaw board but it all fits behind there fine and if i need it i can pull the sofa out but it's not stuff i need all the time i'm gonna clear my desk a bit and get the die cuts cut so i'll speak to you in a little bit Cricut Design Spaces updating, so 
I have to wait and it will probably take a little while because the internet's not great here. One. Whilst I wait for that to do it's all little updatey, downloady thing, um, I'm going to reply to some comments on the last vlog because that is something <laughs> I struggle to keep up with. Because comments come through at odd times on videos, I don't reply to them immediately. The only time I reply to them straight away is as soon as the video is posted because I'm online <laughs> and it also helps the algorithm um, with like engagement and interaction within the first, I don't even know what the time limit is, but I know it's good to have the engagement. So considering I'm online anyway posting the video, there's no harm in sitting down for like half an hour and replying to comments. The only time I don't do that is if I have a scheduled video. So I know I'm not gonna be there to reply to comments straight away. But then because they come through at all times, I'm like, oh, I'll just wait until there's a couple more. But then I tend to forget to just sit down and reply to them. So that is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go through my phone and reply to some comments. I managed to reply to a few the other day, so I don't think I've got that many to reply to which is good but yeah a lot of you did say that you liked the really long vlog which is great it did make me worry a little bit when it was like oh yeah this is vlogs 50 minutes i was like oh, oh no but yeah a lot of you said you enjoyed the longer vlogs so i'm not going to intentionally try and make them that long every single time but i know that if i go over my like half hour goal of vlogs um i don't need to worry about it because you guys seem to like them they're just a lot more tedious to edit because once I've edited a video I tend to watch it through one more time to check that the music and everything is fine and I've not missed anything out. But having to edit that much footage and then watch almost an hour's worth of myself it's not as enjoyable as you might think. <laughs> um, so yeah 50 minute vlogs are very tedious but at least I know you guys don't find them too boring or too much if I do end up making them 50 minutes again. <laughs> As I was packing those up, my package arrived. Um, I'm actually going to move this over here. These are my business cards. Yes, nosy. <laughs> She's like, oh, parcel. Yes, please. Um, I really hope I'm 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 apprehensive as always <laughs> with printed stuff. Ooh. I'm apprehensive because it's just it's just so scary. I don't know how they're gonna turn out. Oh, oh, oh I like them. There's only two things in here because I only ordered two things. <laughs> so these are my little. Actually, let me do these ones first. These are the little thank you slips that I'm going to put in. In the past, I've used sticky notes. I've printed off my own thank yous. Um, but I wanted to... Ooh, they're nice. They have like a cut line on them. That's annoying. I'm not mega, mega impressed with 
some of the things about them. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. These are little thank you slips that I'll put in with every order. On this side, I've left space to write and then on the back, it has the print. I wanted to make these and the business cards pretty in a more than, oh, that's pretty branding way. Um, I wanted to make them so people can use them in their journals. So right now, obviously I've ordered a load of these ones in the yellow design, but in the future, I can order a few different colors and people can use these in their journals as little bits of ephemera and stuff. But these aren't the greatest. I used a site called Mixum. They are the cheapest place I found for printing, but they're a bit hit and miss, shall we say. So the print lines, like the cut lines are still visible. This isn't me designing things wrong. You can see it's like a white cut line there. And then when you turn it over, there's one along the top here as well. So they've kind of a bit, they're a bit misaligned. There's one down the bottom too. And all of them have that going along the top of them. Um, this is just the first stack. I think I've got, yeah, there's a couple more in here. Let me get everything out. I'll be a bit sad if the business cards are like that. Those are really nice. Again, I've done the thing where the back of them is just like pretty patterns. So people can use that in their journal to pop a photo on or something if they wanted to. Because I am someone who, if I'm sent a business card or something with pretty packaging, I keep the packaging, I hoard it, and then I use it in my journals. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to make sure that my packaging and business cards and stuff were like that. If you are a small business and you need to get some things quickly on a budget, um, then this might be a good one to go for. They wouldn't be my go-to for products, let's just say that. <laughs> the actual design process and like ordering is really complicated, probably one of the most complicated that I've done, you have to have everything in a PDF, which I've never had that before. I always send things in JPEG or PNG. You place the order before you pay. It's just a really not very streamlined order process, in my opinion, compared to some of the other ones that I've used. I am glad they've arrived now because I can use them in orders when I'm packing tomorrow. So now if you place an order on my shop, you'll get a little business card and a little thank you message on one of these, which you can use in your journals almost chuck them all on the floor. They do package them all in plastic which is kind of handy because I can store these away until I need them but then also plastic you know. I think I got about 800 of each. I think it was like 750 business cards and 800 pieces of paper so it's not bad for the quantity and the price. It's pretty decent. Pretty, pretty decent. I'm gonna get back to cutting die cuts and packing them into their little packages. I'm done for the day. I have tidied a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a proper tidy and like clean my desks before I get packing tomorrow. I'm looking forward to tomorrow with the packing because I enjoy it. I enjoy packing. <laughs> Happy Mel. Um, but I know it's busy busy and by the end of the day I will be exhausted so I'm not looking forward to that bit but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get up early and get things done. I'm gonna go find some dinner now and then probably play some games, maybe watch a film. Dunno. Hi, it is Wednesday and I am packing pretty much the whole day today. I am looking forward to it. I like <laughs> this sort of work and it makes it more exciting when I've got like new business cards and stuff to put in orders. So um I'm gonna start with the Patreon boxes and get those all packaged up. I tend to lay them all out first and put everything that needs to go in the box in it so I know it's all there. 
um, and then I'll go through them one by one, write the little thank yous and package them up properly. And then after that I add postage and custom labels if they need them. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a process but I'm going to get started with it. And hopefully I'll have those finished before lunchtime. That's the goal anyway. <laughs> only took me six minutes which I don't know what that means I think I showed this in my last vlog but when I'm getting everything sorted for the patreon boxes each month I put them in these little foldable crates that I got from Hema I have a little checklist in there so I know that everything's there and I feel like this process of keeping it all together has helped massively <laughs> um, knowing that everything I need is in here but the ideal would be to have two or three months ready in advance so I don't have to worry about it. Um, I was ahead of myself a bit for this month and then obviously I was designing extra stuff for the shop and I got a little bit behind. If you guys have any theme ideas let me know because I am taking them on board. I've got like a list in the back of my planner of potential theme ideas I want to try and like colour schemes and stuff so fun things that are going in the boxes. There's obviously three different postcard designs in that pile. There's little packs of die cuts, there's the tags I painted, bigger die cut, the art prints and papers, some twine, some ribbon and some washi tape samples. And I also write a little thank you message and I package all the smaller bits into one of these so they don't fly around in the box as much. finished with a rough pack like I've got everything that needs to be in the box in the boxes and they look like this so they're all a bit messy looking I have all their addresses as well printed off so I will pop those in the boxes too and then I just have to sit at my desk and write the little thank yous pack them all nicely and get them ready to send out tomorrow <laughs> Just finished packing up the Happy Mail boxes. These ones are going to places outside the UK and then these ones are UK people. I'm not planning on opening up any more spaces on that tier for a while. 20 <laughs> boxes each month is enough for me. I'm about to go get my lunch but after lunch I need to package the next tier down 
So those patrons get the art print, the postcards, a die cut and a little thank you message. Someone explain how I managed to get a pen there. <laughs> this is, I love this jumper, but it's, it's, it's so risky doing work in this jumper because I've already had to use like stain remover on it to get pen off the front because I dropped my pen at me. <laughs> but I just don't know how I got it up here. I've not had, I've just been using the pen and then putting it down again. I've not like been, oh, haven't been like twiddling it around or anything. <laughs> I finished, I did it, they're all packed. Um, it is now 4.30 and it has taken me all day, but they're done. If I try doing this on one of them days where I have my head all over the place, it takes me two days because I don't know, I just don't, it just, it just takes longer. But it's all done, orders are packed up, Patreon stuff's packed up, giveaway prizes packed up, stuff that I've been meaning to send out for a while. It's all packed up, it's ready to go. I did get an order come through just as I finished. So I am gonna package that up just before I finish up completely. Um, it always seems to be the way. I like finish everything, pack all the packaging stuff away, and it's like, oop, just one more please. Everything's a bit clearer because there's not stuff sitting on my desk. I had so many packages and things that have been sitting around waiting to be posted and obviously I'm not going to the post office as regularly as I was before because I mean Covid, every, just so many reasons um but yeah but they're all ready to go now I need to finish up with some emails this evening um and I'm gonna tidy my office a bit more and then I'm gonna call it a day Hi, hello, it is Thursday. I have not vlogged at all today and it is almost six o'clock, I think. Yes, it's 20 to six. Um, I I had a lot of anxiety this morning. Today, obviously, was the day that I went to town for the first time since December. Like, people in shops and stuff, not just the village post office where I just see the postal person for 10 minutes. I was feeling, I was feeling anxious. I had to pick up a prescription and do the post office and I also wanted to challenge myself to go into a shop because my anxiety with being out and about again and people and shops and all of that stuff has definitely taken steps backwards over the pandemic. It's just really really daunting to think about being around people and it's hard because I also really really want to be around people. Like being here I've been so secluded and I really want to socialise but then I'm also terrified of it <laughs> so today I was like I'm gonna go do the jobs and then I'm gonna go in a shop and then I'm gonna go and sit somewhere in the sunshine so that's what I did it was absolutely lovely nothing was like too triggering at all and then I got home and I took an almost two hour nap <laughs> um so yeah I definitely pushed myself to the point of I'm now exhausted and need to sleep but it's fine because I did it and I didn't have a panic attack and I didn't freak out and my anxiety was fine. But it does mean that I have not vlogged at all today because I was too anxious this morning and then I was sleeping when I got home. So I don't really have anything to share today. I need to close the rest of that curtain. Hold on. It's a little bit dark but it will do. You can still see me. I did have my paper game box arrive. I think it arrived last week. 
maybe um but i thought i'd open it on here for you guys i haven't really been doing ugh, separate videos on these all that much since they changed over to the new website they have a new referral system and i don't think my referral link works they have told me that they're going to sort that eventually and everything will be transferred over but it's not done that yet so i've just not really been sharing it but i do love sharing it and i've tried to post photos on my insta stories and stuff this month's box has been designed by jamie mitchell and it's also in collaboration with acting for others which is a charity i think this is what the inside looks like they have changed this as well recently to not being tissue paper they have like printed paper that you can cut out and do i think it's a bit of origami yeah, there's a QR code on the booklet for the origami tutorial. But also this paper is really nice because it's got stationery all over it. So I've been keeping that to reuse. What have we got? Oh, it's a Happy Mail themed one. Ooh. Well, first of all, there's two rainbow gel pens. There is some... Oh, that's so pretty. There's some very cool envelopes. We've got these ones and they say Happy Mail along the bottom. This camera is just not one for focusing. Um, then there is this one that says, oh hi, and then this one that says greetings, and this one that says hello. One, two, three, four, yeah, four of each of those. There's a little sticky note pad. There's four different patterns on that pad as well, so I think they kind of go along with the envelopes. There is a washi tape, so this one is green checkers. And then last of all, there is, oh, it's not last of all. Ooh. Oh, wow. There's a little stencil with loads of different, hang on, with loads of different shapes and patterns on it. And then this is the paper pad, which I'm guessing is writing paper in here, and it says, hello, it's me on the front. And inside we have, ooh, this is all lined paper. I was kind of expecting it to be a bit like this, where it'd have the pattern around the edge and then space in the middle to write. I was not expecting a rainbow writing pad, but that's very cool. <laughs> I don't know how many sheets are in there, but it's quite a thick notepad. I think you can get the past Paper Gang boxes if they have any left on the Odea website. I don't know if they're more expensive or what. Yeah, I know they do sell them on there. I will leave a link below if you are interested in subscribing to it. It won't be a referral link. And this isn't like a sponsored job either. Like this is, they've sent me a box in the past. I've worked with Odea in the past, but... This is just me going, ah, stationery. It's like my monthly nerd out of stationery. Actually, that's a lie. I nerd out about stationery every single day. I might vlog a bit tomorrow, so I'm not going to end the video just yet. So I will speak to you tomorrow. It is Saturday today. I didn't vlog yesterday at all because I didn't do any work yesterday at all. Yesterday just got too hectic. My parents came home from their holiday and I was helping them like, unpack and sort things out. So yeah, just didn't end up doing any work but it was fine because I knew that I was going to work on Saturday and Sunday so I'm having a very chilled work mindset today um I'm going to be doing art all day pretty much I'm also having a no makeup day because it's the weekend and I don't want to put makeup on <laughs> um to be blunt first thing I'm going to get done today is the May artwork I have started it I have a theme and everything sorted um I think I did a background piece and some of the little elements but I just need to like finish it up and also design some postcards and die cuts so I can add more things to the shop. I'm going to try and be consistent and do it monthly when I do the Patreon artwork um, but it is a lot more work and obviously some months I might not have time to do that so I'm going to go with it and just design whatever I can and then I need to get some images painted for Lisa the lollipop box because I'm doing a collage sheet for her for the June box so I need to get some images across to her and see if she likes them. I woke up to someone joining the top Patreon tier, the Happy Mail tier, which means there's only one more April space free so that's cool so I need to get that packed up and ready to send out at some point. Um, I don't think she's in the UK so I'll need to do a post office trip next week and I also got an order as well which is going abroad so I'll be going to the post office at some point. That's the plan for today. I'm very grey today. I've kind of not on purpose matched my outfit. <laughs> I put on grey joggers because joggers are comfy. Um, and then I chose a jumper that I don't mind getting paint on because <laughs> whenever watercolours are involved, paint flies. So I'm going to get on with all of that and I'll speak to you in a little bit. 
I've not really shared this on my channel. I did mention it in a previous video and someone asked if I was going to do a flip through. I'm probably not going to do a flip through of the whole thing because it's not really... I don't know, it's not... It's really messy. And it's got ideas for like future collections and stuff in, which I don't want to give away yet. But I thought I'd show you my little mood boards and things that I've done for the past collections. So I created these inserts for this planner specifically so I can kind of visualise what's going in each of the monthly boxes so i think i started it last year so i started it in doo -doo -doo -doo, the october box i have a section for the color scheme so i put a little swatch of each color and then which watercolor palette each of them are from so i can use those colors again if i want to add to it later on because sometimes i do paint the collections in two sittings like today i've got these which i painted a few months ago and then i'm gonna go and finish it although i didn't actually write down or do the color swatch so i'm gonna have to color match those and then on this side i have a little checklist of all of the things i need to do these pages have changed recently because obviously i changed up my tears a little bit below the color scheme section i print off little pictures of the artwork that i've done and then i've got the stash builders so it's kind of to just figure out the colours and make sure all the colours go together and that it all looks good as a collection. The checklist just goes over each tier to make sure I've got everything and then I have a little master checklist <laughs> section which has a more detailed checklist in it and that's basically how I stay on track with Patreon and it has helped massively since I got it all sorted and set up. Monday today. I am not going to vlog this week but I didn't really finish the vlog last week so I thought I would quickly hop on and kind of show you what I did over the weekend because I didn't really vlog much of it. I kind of just wanted to crack on with it and get it done rather than figuring out what to show you and talk about it and all of that stuff. Sometimes I just find it easier to get my head down and get it done. So I did manage to finish the May collection for Patreon. I still have the shop collection to finalise but that isn't too drastic um, because main the main thing I needed to get sorted was the artwork and edits for the Patreon stuff so I can get that posted this week because obviously it's May at the end of this week which is where is the months and time gone? So yeah I can finish the shop collection like in the evening or something at some point this week that wasn't like the drastic work. This is what I got done. So these are the papers. There'll be two A5 sheets of papers. This is the collage sheet. I think the collection I'm going to call Sending Smiles because I just like that quote. It's a nice, nice little quote. This is one of the postcards. This is the other postcard. And then this is another postcard for Patreon. And then obviously I'll be designing more postcards for the shop. And then this is the art print, which I always use one of the papers as the background. So obviously I've used this one as like flip it around a bit um, as the background for the art print. So that is what I got done over the weekend. I was painting and editing and scanning things in and painting and editing and had that one repeat. <laughs> this is the artwork that I've done so far for the shop collection. What I try and do for the shop collection is create different artwork but along the same sort of theme so these are the images that you'll get exclusively to patreon so these won't be used for the shop stuff none of these will be used at all i kind of create a whole separate like part two to the collection so if you do want to get both you won't get duplicates obviously the similarities between them so i've got the envelopes with the hearts these stamps are a bit messy because <laughs> i was trying to figure out what like outside pattern i wanted on them and i kind of like this one a bit more so when I scan these in I will get rid of this border and this border and put them inside this basically which is one of the perks of being able to edit stuff I don't have to get it perfect first time because I can play around with it I want to get a few more things painted for that collection but what I'll do is start editing it together so I'll scan this in and start editing it and then I can figure out from that what else I'll need, whether I need more bigger elements or whether I need more like small elements to fit with stuff. I'm not going to be vlogging this week because I've got a lot of other videos to film. I've got some Patreon videos to film. I have a um, journal hop video to film with Lisa, which should be up by the time this video goes live. So I'll leave a link to it below. I just need to stay on top of that. So I decided not to vlog, not to pressure myself to vlog this week. Um, considering it's going to be a lot of me sitting and filming anyway. So there won't be a vlog for another couple of weeks, 
but I do have content that will be going up between them. So I hope you will enjoy either way. Thank you all so much for watching this vlog. Big, big thank you to my patrons who have supported me over there this month. If you're a patron on any of the tiers, then your name will be on the screen now. There's been a lot of new people join over there, which has been really fun. The May collection that I've just shown will be available from May 1st. So if you want to get your hands on the collage sheets, they are only £3 a month and you also get early access to all of my videos and a discount to the shop. So if that is something you're interested in, I'll have a link as always below. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.